Although our line of work is very physically tiring, mentally quite relaxing. You know, there's no unanswered emails. There's no office politics. Yeah. He always say, if there's politics, it's just between you and me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Winston. I'm Gladys. We are husband and wife team that runs Wild Leaf. We've been in this business for the 16 years. We were in finance for more than 10 years or so. Before we got sick of the corporate life, and we find that we want to do something different. That's how we started Wild Leaf. Our plan was that um, I'll take a few months off to help him. We naively think that we can hire somebody and then I can go back to my finance job. But then later we realised that it's, there's a lot more to booking. And after a while I got really entrenched into it. And I find that hey, I derived quite a lot of joy from doing what I was doing. When we just started in airport, it was just only chicken and fish. We left airport about a few years back because of their stricter regulations and rules. So later we took about two years break and we started here again. Our menu actually evolved over the years. So after we started here, we actually bring in steak, pork chop and side dishes like mussels and meatball. Because I'm not trained in a culinary background and I've not worked in any restaurants, we are not confined by the do's and don'ts. And I think that it was what made our cooking enjoyable. Having the creativity and freedom to do what we want. So basically everything that we did was what we would have cooked at home and what we would have served our friends and families when they come over. That was how everything first started. By cooking something that we like and hoping that people will take to it. And thankfully they did. I'm in charge of the front of the shop. Gladys is in charge of the back of the kitchen. She do most of the cooking. I manage most of the plating and the handling of the customers and taking orders. Because it's a two-person team, we are able to fill each other's role whenever the other person is too occupied or too busy. We normally get in the shop about 9 a.m. in the morning. Our first service will be from 12 p.m. to 3.30, whereby we take a break for stock up and to take our lunch. Then we start at 5 again and all the way to 9.30 in the night. Because we have no assistant, it's just the two of us, we have to do everything ourselves from scratch. So even during our break, we have a quick lunch and then we have to start preparing for the dinner wave that starts at 5. We did hire at the beginning, but later we find that there is always a lot of disruption when uh, there is a staff change. So we find that it's much easier, just the two of us, than to have additional help. All our sites all are all prepared. prepared from scratch. The most popular site will be the mushroom rice and the hot potatoes. The most popular dish will be the chicken chop and the pork chop. But then, every dishes have their own followings. Uh, the steak, the grilled fish, the pasta. We have no regrets starting the business. In fact, we are very glad we did it, especially when we did it in our younger days. For me, in my late 20s and for him in his early 30s. Like, uh, the thought of failing or starting all over did not daunt us or anything because we always felt that we were young enough to try and you only live once, you know. Looking back, we are very thankful lah, because it gave us so much more uh, freedom. Um, not every couple has the chance to spend so much time together and this is really something that we are very thankful for. We are very blessed to be able to work with each other. I mean, for sure, husband and wife are completely <laughs> situation where I think I can back off, I will back off. And there are times when he knows that I'm very insistent on something, he tends to back off as well. And even when we disagree with each other, we are open to reason. Yeah, at the end of the day, uh, I think it helps that we both share very similar values. Yeah, we're always on the same page uh, as far as where the direction of all is going. More importantly, we are... Uh, how you call it? We have an equal partnership. Yeah, equal partnership. It's not one party doesn't dominate over the other. Yeah, so while we may not agree totally on some small little details, the general idea is the same and uh, our heart is at the right place. Wow, Olive has um, definitely strengthened our marriage and make us more... Uh, understanding understanding yeah. towards each other. One example is uh, when we first started Pasiris Hawker Centre. It was a very stressful period for us because it was after the two years break, I'm basically a little bit rusty, a bit out of touch and I felt very stressed and not very sure if we did the right thing to start our business here, you know. And uh, I told him I really don't see the light at the end of the tunnel because every day we were so swamped with work and our rest period was so short, I don't think we can last beyond three months. But he was very reassuring. He was the one who told me that all this will pass, somehow things will be better. After the first week, he was telling me that if it's really, really too stressful for you, we can just give a month notice and leave this place. He cares more about my well-being over the investment that we have made, and that kind of got me through. Because she's very approachable as a person. For me, I'm always very stern when I stand at the front of the counter. Yeah, so I learned to be more approachable and, you know, so-called people-oriented. People -oriented. Definitely, definitely. Definitely, wow, he's our baby right from the start. Yes, yes. Yeah.